Hello everyone, we have here exponential equation 2 to the power of 1 over x plus 4 to the power of 1 over x equals 8 to the power of 1 over x and in this video we'll be solving for the real values of x This equation looks familiar to you guys and the only difference that's so weird, kind of weird is that the exponent is the inverse of x and if you notice, the base are all even numbers and 4 and 8 are multiples of 2 and so probably we can solve the uh, equation by dividing the whole equation with 2 to the power of 1 over x or divide by 8 to the power of 1 over x but uh, I don't think we can use dividing the whole equation with 4 to the power of 1 over x but uh, I will let you know in a second so now we're solving this equation we're trying to get those uh, options uh, in solving so first we divide this with uh, 2 to the power of 1 over x so we have here the equation again 2 to the power of 1 over x plus 4 to the power of 1 over x and we transpose th this term right here on the right that is minus 8 to the power of 1 over x equals 0 and now we're dividing the whole equation with 2 to the power of 1 over x dividing the whole term with 2 to the power of 1 over x so we have here now first term 2 to the power of 1 over x divided by 2 to the power of 1 over x that is 1 then plus so this we're dividing 4 divided by 2 that is 2 they have both the same exponent so exponent 1 over x minus 8 divided by 2 that is 4 and raised to the power of 1 over x equals 0 and from here if you notice 4 is multiple of 2 the base so we can convert this now the equation becomes 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 over x minus 4 can be written as 2 squared to the power of 1 over x is equal to 0. The third term, if you notice, the exponent is 2. We can take that out and we can convert this equation into quadratic, right? Since the exponent is 2 right there, so the equation now becomes 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 over x minus 2 raised to the power of 1 over x is squared is equal to 0. So this is what I'm talking about. So this now converts to a quadratic equation. So from here we can solve the value of variable x by setting up this as a quadratic equation. And by introducing 2 to the power of 1 over x, a new variable as like u or y, by using quadratic formula, we can find the value of x. And this is from the first step, dividing the whole equation with 2 to the power of 1 over x. How about dividing the whole equation with 8 to the power of 1 over x? So let's do that. So we have here the whole equation again, and we're dividing it uh, with 8 to the power of 1 over x. So from here... The same exponent, the, but the base are different. So this is 2 divided by 8, that is 1 fourth. And raised to the power of 1 over x. Plus, the second term, 4 divided by 8 is 1 half. So that's 1 half, same exponent, 1 over x. Minus the third term, dividing by itself, so that is 1. And this is equal to 0. Since 0 divided by 8 to the power of 1 over x is 0. Alright. So from here, if you notice, the base 1 fourth, the base over here is 1 half. What can you say about that? 1 fourth is the square of 1 half, right? So this can be set again into a quadratic equation. Since if we uh, square this number, 1 half, that will become 1 fourth. So, okay, so let's prove that. If we square 1 half, if we square that, that is 1 squared divided by 2 squared. 1 squared is the same as 1, and 2 squared is 4, so that is 1 fourth. So, 1 fourth is the square of 1 half. So, we replace now this 1 fourth into 1 half squared. So, that is now 1 half is squared raised to the power of 1 over x. And then the second term, that is plus 1 half to the power of 1 over x minus 1. Then this is equal to 0. 
So once again, the equation is transformed into quadratic equation, right? Since we have the uh, power of 2 right there, if we take this 2 out and take this 1 over x inside, you're going to have a new quadratic equation. So this equation can now be written as 1 half to the power of 1 over x raised to the power of 2 plus 1 half to the power of 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this is now a quadratic equation. And uh, all we have to do is introduce a new variable to represent 1 half to the power of 1 over x as y or u. Either way, and then doing the quadratic formula, we solve for the value of the substituted variable as y or u. All right, so now let's start uh, doing dividing the whole equation with 4 to the power of 1 over x. But I don't think it's feasible to doing that. It's because uh, we'll see. All right. Here again, we have the, uh, the original equation with just the difference of uh, the right-hand side term was transposed to the left side with this one right here. So 8 to the power of x is now on the left-hand side of the equation. So now we'll start dividing the whole equation with 4 to the power of 1 over x. So we'll see what's going to happen. All right, can we solve it? We'll see. So now the first term, the same exponent. So we divide 2, divide by 4, that's 1 half to the power of 1 over x. Second term, dividing it by itself, so that is 1. So plus 1 minus the same exponent, 1 over x. So if we divide 8, divide by 4, that's 2 to the power of 1 over x. And of course, 0 divided by any number is 0. So now, if you notice, the base 1 half, the base here is 2. Is there any way we can transform either one to make us uh, a square of the other? Do you think we can transform either one of these into equivalent square of the other? What do you think? If we square one half, that will be one fourth. And if we square two, that will be just simply four. And the square root of two is not one half. So there's no way we can transform this equation into a quadratic equation. And thereby using substitution after that and using the quadratic formula to solve for the value of x, it's not feasible to do it. So we cannot use this one right here by dividing the whole equation with 4 to the power of 1 over x. So the earlier steps are okay. Uh, we can solve for the value of the variable x by dividing the whole equation with 2 to the power of 1 over x and dividing the whole equation with a to the power of 1 over x but not divide by 4 to the power of 1 over x and if you can find a way uh, let me know uh, put your solution in the comment section uh, below we'll see all right so in here now we proceed with solving the uh, equation from the first two any of the first two ways that we had earlier one resulting from dividing the whole equation with 2 to the power of 1 over x or the other one, dividing it with 8 to the power of 1 over x. And uh, Alright, let's do it from here. This first option right there. So, we're taking this part right here. And solve for the value of x. Alright, let's get that one right there. So, I have taken that equation from, from earlier. Now, I would like to arrange the equation now. So... Let's take this one as the first term on the left. So this this becomes transforming it to the other way around. All right, let's do that. Since the sign of this term is negative, it's like we're transposing all the uh, the terms to the right hand side of the equation. So let's just clear that out. So now, first term will be positive two to the power of one over x squared. See, minus becomes plus, and then plus becomes minus. So minus two to the power of 1 over x plus 1 becomes minus 1 it is equal to 0. Now let's introduce a new variable to represent 2 to the power of 1 over x and now let, uh, let's do that as probably y. Let's put y is equal to 2 to the power of 1 over x so the equation now becomes y squared minus y minus 1 
is equal to zero. Most of you guys now know that this equation will produce a value of the golden ratio, right? All right. Even though, so we start solving, find the value of y with the use of quadratic formula. So a here is one, b here is the co I'm talking about the coefficient. So of each term, so this negative one and c is negative one. So the quadratic formula solving for y is equal to minus b. So minus minus that's plus plus or minus is squared of minus b is squared. So minus one squared that's one minus four times a is one and c is negative one. So four times negative one is four. Then this become plus positive divided by two times a it one a is one so that's two. And this is equal to 1 plus or minus a square root of 5 divided by 2. So now we have two roots of y. So we have y is equal to 1 plus a square root of 5 divided by 2. And the other one is 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. And since y is just a substituted variable in place of 2 to the power of 1 over x and if you notice uh, we're, in this video we're trying to solve for the value of variable x we're talking about real values of x so if if you notice the value of y here is positive and in here will be negative so that means we're disregarding this value of y since uh, negative value is going to be producing a uh, complex value of x, I should say. So we're not getting this as part of our solution. So this is going to be a complex number. All right, so we're taking this value of y. So this is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 as a value of y. All right, so we get the real value of x that way. All right, crossing that out. So 2 to the power of 1 over x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So from here we're taking the logarithm or natural logarithm. We can do that the same way. So ln both sides. So we have here now taking down the exponent 1 over x times ln of 2 is equal to ln of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Isolating the variable by itself, we have now 1 over x is equal to ln, or natural logarithm, of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, all over ln of 2. To find for the value of x, we take the reciprocal of both sides of the equation. So we get the value of x. The value of x now is equal to natural logarithm of 2 divided by natural logarithm the quantity 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and this is our exact value of x this is now our final answer all right this is the exact value and for the sake of checking your answers if you would like to get the numerical value of x is approximately equal to 1.44 all right and so that's all for now. And for those of you to my channel, I would appreciate it if you can hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting and informative videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye.